In this video, we are going to take up one more problem on the projections of lines. The problem reads as the problem number 43. A line capital AB, HEMM law, is inclined to HP at 30 degrees and inclined to VP at 45 degrees. Draw the front and top views of a line and determine their lengths. Also, measure the perpendicular distance of NB from both HP and VP. So this is the problem which is given. Now here he has not given the endpoints of both A and B, but he has given the endpoint B from uh, measure the perpendicular distance of endpoint B from both HP and VP. So that means we need to measure what is the distance from this XY line to this locus, and also from this line uh, XY line to this locus. So based on this, we need to fix the point A. Suppose if I take the point A which is above HP by some distance and in front of VP by some distance and apply and try to solve this problem. He has, here he has given the capital AB HMM long. As we know that it is the capital AB. So obviously that line should be in true length. Suppose if the line has to be is in true length in the front view then obviously that line has to be parallel in the top view. Similarly the vice versa. Now, Suppose if I take some distance above HP, then what happens to the locus of B? The locus of B instead of on this distance, it will going to increase this distance depending upon the distance of the point A. So as suppose if I take the distance in front of VP by some distance, again this locus will also increase. So as he has to measure the perpendicular distance of the end B, so naturally this should be the minimum distance with respect to the XY line. If that should be the minimum distance of the x y from the x y line, then the point A has to be on both H P and V P. So this is how you will be able to fix the position of the point A uh, with respect to both H P and V P. As we see, the position of the point A, which is capital A here, and which is A dash and A is here, which is on both H P and V P. So that is how you will be able to start the problem. As it says that the line capital A B, which is so H M M. So obviously that line has to be in true length, which is inclined to HP at 30 degrees. As it is inclined to HP at 30 degrees, then what happens? It will be on the vertical plane. You can see the length, which is A dash B1 dash, which is capital A B1 in this case. We will take it as capital A B. So that distance is HEMM. So we can take that directly on the vertical plane. And also, and 30 degrees to and 45 degrees to VP. So as we know, the true length is same in both HP and VP. So obviously, that true length would also in the top view should be inclined at 45 degrees, and is also having length of 80. So once you get this, so naturally we're going to get the locus of B in the front view and as well as in the locus of B in the top view. Now, I need to find out what should be the uh, apparent lens and what should be the top view and the front view. So, as we know that here in this case, as we know that capital A B1, which is the line which should be in true length, which is on A dash and B1 dash, which should be on the particular plane. With A, A dash center taking the radius of A dash B1 dash, as we rotate, what happens? When you look from the top view, you can see that A B1 is the line which is parallel to XY. So, why? Because since this is capital A B, which is the true length, so obviously that line should be parallel when you look from the top view. As A is in VP, so naturally B1 should also be in VP. So as we rotate with respect to A dash or with respect to the capital A, as we start rotating, what happens when you look from the top view? Since that top view is perpendicular to the horizontal plane, the image will going to start rotating from here till to the locus of B in the top view. So once you get that, when you project this point, so you are going to get this point capital B. So when you join capital A and capital B, so this will going to be the actual, this will going to be the position of the line with respect to both HP and VP. And now, so uh, now we are going to get the top view. Once you get to the position of the top view, now how to analyze that when you are trying to do it in um, front view now. So similarly, so what happens when you take this uh, AB2, so this is the true length line in the top view. So which is at an angle of 45 degrees. So once you get this, so we know that this is the uh, line which is in true length because it is already given in the problem. So you can say which is capital AB. So 
Once you try to rotate, then what happens? As with the ascent, as we know that this is the true length, so naturally, when you look from the front view, that should be parallel to x y. So you can see that a dash b to dash is the line which is parallel to x y. As we start rotating with the small e b two, and when you rotate, so naturally the point b will try to lift from the horizontal plane. So as we start rotating, then what happens? Where exactly it has to stop? As we uh, start rotating in space, so naturally, when you look from the front view, that image will going to start rotating from B to dash, and then if it starts tilt to the locus of B, so that means the, the the rotation of the point capital B will going to be done tilt to the locus of B in the front view. So once it reaches to that point, so where it will going to cut this locus, then you will going to when you see from the front view, so that is been projected to this, so which is the locus of B in the front view. And you get a dash b, b dash, so this will going to be the apparent length on the front view, and small a b is the apparent length in the top view. So that is the angle made by this with respect to h p is alpha. The angle made by this with respect to v p is phi. Uh, sorry, beta. So this is all. And uh, once you get this intersection point, so you naturally are going to get this as capital e b. So this is the position wherein we can see the point b. Is uh, in space. The point B is in space. Now, how to? Uh, so this is how you are going to get it. Now, when you try to uh, write this uh, problem in the sketchbook, so first what we should do now? First, we should draw the x y line and identify the planes of vertical plane and the horizontal plane. As you look from the front view, the a dash will be on x y line. So you start from a dash from the x y line. As you look from the top view, a is on h p. So you can see that HP is below x y line. You mark this point as A. As we know that when the horizontal plane is being rotated by 90 degrees, then what happens? HP will going to become below and VP will be above. Now, then what should uh, then what we should do now? So take any point on the x y line and you mark this as small a dash in the front view and small a in the top view and you write capital A here and you write capital. So by using the protractor, you measure an angle of 30 degree with respect to HP. Since it is 30 degrees to H to the HP, so the image is seen in the vertical plane. As we see from the front view, this has been projected directly. So as we see from the front view, so you can see that uh, this is the line what you are going to get. So by using the protractor, you measure an angle of 30 degrees, which is because it is inclined at 30 degrees to HP. So image will be seen in the vertical plane. As you see from the front view. You can see that this is the image what you are going to get when you are looking from the front view. So once you do that, then similarly with the as center by by using the protractor, you measure an angle of 45 degree with respect to the vertical plane. So that means it will be lies on uh, HP. So that is what we have shown here. So by using the compass, you take a radius of ET and with a as a center, cut an arc on that 30 degree line. Similarly, with the same center, because you have both a dash and a, you are going to have the same point. So, by using the protractor, you measure an angle of 45 degree in the clockwise direction, and then draw an inclined line. Then, by using the compass, you measure a distance of et with a center, cut an arc on this 45 degree line, and then draw the locus of draw the locus of b in the top view, and also the locus of b in the front view by using the dash dot line type. So once you do that, then next what we should do now. So we need to solve this problem. So to solve this problem, as we know that a dash b1 dash is the one which is uh, is in true length. So that has been denoted by capital A and capital B. So we know that if the line has to be parallel in the front view, so obvious if line has to be the true length in the front view, obviously that line has to be parallel. You can see when you look from the top view. You can see A is there, but B1 is not there. So we need to project that point B1 dash directly onto the x y line. And similarly, as we are measuring from B1 dash here, draw a vertical projector tilt to the projection of A, on which is on the x y line. So similarly, uh, with the uh, air center taking the radius of uh, 80, cut an arc on this uh, 45 degree line. And join AB2 and draw the locus of B in the top view also. 
So once you get this with the air center taking the radius of AB1 by using the compass, you draw an arc such that it will go to cut the locus of B in the top view. So that is what we have done. As we start rotating this AB A dash B1 dash in space, then what happens? Uh, the image is also being get uh, rotated because when you look from the top view, that image will going to be on this line, still to the locus of B in the top view. So that is what we are doing here with the air center by using the compass with the radius of AB1, you draw an arc such that it will going to cut the locus of B in the top view and you mark this point as B, join AB with a dark line. So that is what we have done, join AB with a dark line, so that will going to give you the top view. Once you get the top view, similarly what you should do, you need to find out the front view, how to do that. So when you look from the front view, what happens, see, so this is the line which is uh, parallel to HP, you can see that both A dash and B2 dash, which are on XY line. So once you, uh, so now what you should do now with B2 as center, by using the, now we have, uh, draw a vertical projector from B2 till to the XY line, because A is on XY line, naturally that uh, A dash is on XY line, so naturally B2 dash should also be an XY line. So that is the line which is parallel to XY in the front view. So obviously that line in the corresponding top view, it should be able to get the true length. Once you get the true length, so you can denote this by capital A and capital B which is in bracket. So once you get the locus of B in the top view with A as center, by taking the radius of AB1, you draw an R so that it will go to cut the locus of B in the top view. Then join A and B with a dark line. So now we got the top view. So once you get the top view, then we have to take the true length in the top view now. So which is the line which is in true length in the top view? So you can see that AB2 is the line which is in true length because A dash B2 dash is parallel to XY or because since it is already given the problem, so since it is says that it is line capital AB is 80 mm, so you have capital A and capital B both are same, both are equal in the front view and as well as the top view. So, once you get this, now what we should know? So, as A dash is on XY line, so B2 dash should also be on the same line. That's what we have shown. As we look from the top view, uh, front view, A was here, so A dash is here, and B2 which is on here, when it uh, draws this, though it is projected till here, so you're going to get A dash B2 dash which is parallel to XY. So, that is what we have done here. By using the scale, you draw a vertical projector till to the XY line, and you mark that point as A dash B2 dash. Then by using the compass with A dash as center, taking the radius of A dash B to dash, then draw an arc so that it will go to cut the locus of B in the top view. And you mark this as B dash. And then join A dash B dash with a dark line. Similarly, A B with a dark line. Then you mark the A, capital A, capital A, capital B and capital B and identify the locus of B. Now one should do that. So also this is how you will be able to draw the final solution by using the sketch. But then you show the dimensions accordingly, whatever you have given. You have to measure the true line, then you have measure the true inclination with respect to HP and you measure the true inclination with respect to VP. But not only that, now we need to measure the perpendiculars of the NB from both HP and VP. So here, so this is the line which is uh, parallel to HP in the top view. So that will going to be this distance is the one what he is talking about. Similarly, if you see, similarly also measure the perpendicular and degree from both HP and VP. So you can see that this is the length of the line, uh, this is the distance which you need to uh, measure by using the scale. So to do that, so what we, uh, to do that, what we should do now, by using the scale, you measure the distance from B2 to, B2 dash to B2 then that will going to be 56.57, it will going to be approximately 57 mm and similarly to measure the distance from B1 to B1 dash by using the scale or by using the compass then you put it onto the scale and then if you measure you will going to get it as B1 dash B1 so which will going to be the perpendicular distance and you measure the distance which will be exactly which will be equal to 40.00 when you are doing it in computer and when you are doing it in manual so you can see that B1 dash B1 will be equal to 40 mm. So this is how you will be able to and then show the dimensions and uh, draw A dash B dash with a dark line and similarly AB with a dark line and then the true length in which is A dash B1 dash it should be little bit 
be thinner than it should be a little bit thicker than x y line and it should be thinner than the uh, uh, front view line similarly you draw a line from a to b a b to so here this will going to be the true line which will going to be a little bit thinner than the top view and it is a little bit thicker than the x y line so this is able this is how you will be able to uh, solve the problem by using the sketchbook now we will try to analyze that how it has been done by using the first position and the second position so what he says that is what you have given the true length which is inclined at 30 degrees and we have considered the true length which is equal to 45 degrees of 80 mm length because both the in the front view and as well as in the top view you will get, get the true length is the same and then so what we should do now so now we need to rotate so with the dash center taking the radius of a dash b1 dash why do i need to rotate so that is basically because you can see that the true length in the top view is here so this is the true length in the top view so i want to find out the, the top view so you have to consider the front view line true line as you know that this is the front view is in the true line obviously because the top view line is parallel to x y you have the a for a dash which is a for b1 dash which is b1 now when you look from the top view both this a dash and b1 uh, sorry a and b1 it will be on the xy line because a dash a is on xy line b1 should also be on xy line then only that top view of the line uh, true length will be parallel to xy one should do that because due to the presence of the locus of b so we are getting rotated so as we start rotating that point a dash b dash b1 dash till to this position point b so it is in space then join a and b so till how much it will going to be rotated till it is going to come comes and cuts the locus of b in the top view so this is how you will be able to analyze this and similarly that's what we have shown here by using the orthographic view take on the true length in the front view once you take the true length in the front view obviously when you look from the top view you are going to get a b1 because a is on x y line b1 should also be in x y line so that is what we have shown here a and b1 which will be on x y line due to the presence of this line with a b a dash a as center taking the radius of a b1 rotate it so that it is going to cut the locus of b in the top view and join a and b so this is how you will be able to analyze this in uh, the first position then we are going to take the second position now which is the second position i want to find out the uh, top view now uh, the front view so how to do that to do that i will going to take the true length in the top view since you know that ab capital ab is the true length which is hmm so this is the true length in hp obviously that line has to be parallel to the xy line in the front view so as we know that a dash is on xy line so when you project this your b2 should also be on xy line so you're going to mark that as a dash b2 dash so this is the line which is going to parallel to hp so as we see it is parallel to hp and then when you because due to the presence of this line with a dash center taking the radius of a dash b2 dash he has been rotated so that you're going to cut the locus of b in the top view and you mark this as b dash and join a dash b dash with the dot line so this is how you will be able to analyze both in 3D and how to solve the problem by using sketchbook and also how to analyze by individually. So that is what we have done here. As we start rotating in space, then what happens to the image in the front view? The image in the front view being get rotated. Till what distance it will going to reach? Till it is going to cut the locus of B in the front view. So this is how you will be able to analyze the uh, projection supplies on when the true length is given and the true inclinations and apparent incl uh, true inclinations is given and then what we are expected to do is what is the position of the point B with respect to both HP and VP so that is what we have shown in the uh, previous slide that is uh, here you can see that you are going to get the perpendicular distance of B2, B2 dash and also B1 dash B1 so this is how you will be able to analyze and solve this problem Thank you.